clockwise rotation about the point on the object. Rotate the following figure 90 degrees clockwise about the point A on the object. So we are given this triangle ABC on the coordinate plane and we have to rotate it clockwise about the point A. Right? That means this is the point A and about this point we have to move this clockwise. Clockwise means that direction correct that is the direction in which we have to rotate and that rotation has to be about point A that means A is fixed so in the final image also you will get A as the same point right it will not vary it will be invariant correct now as you know when you do a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees how do the coordinate points change so in a clockwise rotation let's write down clockwise rotation 90 degrees if the original points are x and y then what happens to the transform points then x and y changes right so x and y changes to y and x but when you move from first quadrant to second clockwise 90 degrees then the y points becomes negative. So this is the y value of the rotation that becomes negative. So that is the change. But this change only takes place if you are doing about origin. In our case, we are turning it about a point which is not the origin. So therefore, there is some difference. So how to compensate for that difference is what we will look into, right? So we really don't know what should be the coordinate points for A, B and C after 90 degrees clockwise rotation. Now what we can do is we can transform the coordinate axis itself. So the idea here is let us make A as the origin. So we'll make a new axis here. Let's say this is my new axis. So I'm drawing in green my new axis which will have A as its origin. Do you see that? So this becomes now final coordinate, new coordinate system with A as origin. Now if I have A at the origin then I can apply the same rule and get the answer. Do you understand? So this is what I am going to apply to solve this question at present. Okay. So let's write down the coordinate points for A, B and C now. So for A, coordinate points will be 0, 0. Why 0, 0? For the new coordinate system. So we are talking about a system where A is at the origin. Okay, the green one. Do you see that? So take this as your coordinate x-axis, the modified x-axis. Let me write this as x dash and y dash and then see the points okay so a with respect to new axis will be at origin 0 0 how about b b will be one unit left that means minus 1 and 2 up plus 2 so it's minus 1 plus 2 and for c we get 1 2 3 left that means minus 3 and y value is 1 down minus 1 so that is the value of c now you can apply the previous rule, right? So let's apply the rule and check for ourselves. So if you change and for A dash, well, the image after rotation of 90 degrees clockwise will change X and Y, rather swap them. We still get 0, 0. If you make this minus, it remains 0. So that is the position of A dash. As expected, it hasn't changed, right? For B, let B dash be the image point and when you swap X and Y you get 2 and minus 1 but you have to change the sign for Y so we'll make it plus 1 do you see that so B dash is 2 plus 1 and for C dash it should be let's swap minus 1 and minus 3 now change the sign for Y so make it plus 3 so that becomes the final point after transformation which is clockwise rotation by 90 degrees. Let's plot these points back into a system, the new system, okay? 0, 0 for A dash, well, so A dash remains here itself, so we'll call this point as 
a dash which is exactly same origin of the new axis the one drawn in green now b dash is 2 1 so from here go to positive 1 2 and 1 that is b double dash right so we'll write this as b dash c dash is minus 1 plus 3 so minus is to the left of a and then plus 3 means 1 2 and 3 so that is where we get c dash so this is our image point and let me now draw this in a different color okay so let me use dark color let me use black itself because we have to overlap right so a dash is at the same point here is b dash let's join them and then we have c dash there right so we join c dash with a dash and b dash so that is the transform triangle after rotation of 90 degrees do you see you can compare and that is you can see for yourself that AB AB is this original has moved 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees for AB do you see that AB is 90 degrees similarly AC has moved to AC dash so this is also 90 degrees AC dash so that is how our triangle has been rotated clockwise it has all moved clockwise 90 degrees I hope you understand and appreciate the method so let me summarize the method for you so here we had to rotate about a point which is not at the origin since the point was away we made a new coordinate plane with shifted coordinate axis so that a becomes the origin right so that is the new plane with the help of new plane we redefined our points a b and c so these figures are redefined points with respect to a plane where a is at the origin now when you perform 90 degrees rotation you will notice that a and its image remain at the same point the other points change you can get the coordinates of the other points by swapping x and y and then making y value reverse the sign right so that is how you get your coordinates i hope that works thank you